Hey everyone, welcome back. So it's episode 2 on Crown Cappers, or Caspers. I don't know how you pronounce this. Actually, it's definitely not Caspers, which I used to pronounce it like that, and I don't know where I got the extra S from, or whatever. But we have one journey, and that is to find the frozen blades and return them to forget, forget who it is. But I'm going to take a wild guess, and I'm going to say it's Psy. Why Psy? Because she's joined us on the journey, just like everyone else. So who knows, maybe these camos are really annoying. But the game definitely forced me to get Psy, so that's a big indicator that Psy might just be the one that owns the frozen blades. Actually, I don't know who owns them. I actually forgot what the little description was since I last read it, so... Oh well. But anyways, we still know we're seeking out frozen blades, and we are still in the freezing cold ice kingdom. Have you ever wondered why the ice king isn't with us? No, it's not because I didn't want to bring him because he has no apparent use whatsoever. But instead, it's due to the fact that He's plotting, he's secretly trying to stop us. He's made two exits. Actually, oh wait, no. The exits are actually the entrances, in a way. Have you ever just been one of those times when you were like, I'm gonna go all out savage and you just walked out through the entrance and you just walked in through the exit? Oh yeah, apparently the blues exit is the monkey's entrance because once they pop, I mean slay, all the ZOMGs, they're gonna move inside through there. And uh, hopefully they don't get arrested for third degree balloon murder. Actually no, zero degree balloon murder because it's freezing in there. It's frozen. And also, uh, that's a lot of rubble. I wonder how much rubber these guys would be popping. Uh, well, for a fact, I know, I'm pretty sure Zeppelins aren't made of rubber, so the OMGs are not rubber. They have a lot of metal in them. That, that's the same thing with blood It's It just struck me. It struck me like a movie. No, it actually struck me like the super monkey sun god sun's rays, and now it's burning my face. But still, it struck me. What if... No. How would the rainbow balloons... Like, you know how the rainbow balloons split into thermals, and then they'll split into smaller balloons when they are popped? So... What is it like the balloons inflate once they come out? Or are they or are they already inflated inside the balloons? Because first of all, there's no way they're gonna fit. Like regrow rainbows just ain't gonna work. How now not only is it an infinite source of money and an infinite source of XP on balloons 85. But it's also an infinite source of rubber, because clearly, I don't know how that happens, but it's all magic. Because instead of just being, uh, or maybe, I don't know, balloons are somehow doing it. They're somehow mending themselves and turning back into rainbows. But then somehow they can split into two, and then they split into four. Yeah, that's too much to think about. It's almost at the level where it messes with my mind. Yeah, so would the balloons inflate as they come out? That would make the most sense, but then how, how are they going to inflate without losing all their air as they come out? That's a good question. Automatic inflation, I guess? Or what if they're already inflated once they come out? Then there's no way they're fitting in the 
Yeah, so I give up on this one. Wait, if they're already inflated inside, how would a dark piercing the balloon only rip off one layer? And also, how does the fortification even help the ZOMG? Short answer, it doesn't. That super monkey and their crew takes it down like there's nothing. Because there really was nothing. It was easy. It was like... The super monkey sun god represents a knife. And that ZOMG represents... Um... Butter. And kablutter. Anyways, I'll leave the episode off right here. See you guys next time.